six and a half million soldiers, tens of thousands of tanks, aircraft, warships, and submarines. Exactly 30 years ago, on July 1, 1991, the Gorsha Duty Organization WTO was officially dissolved. The main forces of the Warsaw Pact were concentrated in East Germany. The car was the units of the Soviet Union's Western forces. There were 1.5 million soldiers and officials, as well as tank forces, air force, special forces, and rear units. The Warsaw Pact was equipped with advanced weapons and equipment known as the Steel Fist with nearly 6,000 tanks and another 2,000 reserve vehicles, mainly the modernized T-64A and T-64B. In the early 1980s, the newest caster by T-80s were also in service. In the German Dichromatic Republic, there were about 8,000 infantry armor vehicles and armor personnel carriers, more than 3,500 artillery guns, self propelled artillery, Gewostika, Hyacinth, and Acacia. In addition, it also added many motors and anti-aircraft missile systems. After the Great Patriotic War, the 16th Red Banner Air Army was still stationed in Germany, consisting of five air divisions and six separate aviation regiments. During the 1980s, there were nearly 1,500 aircraft and helicopters. The East German army was completely dependent on Moscow and, in fact, part of the Soviet Union. In the event of an armed conflict, several German divisions would merge with the Soviet army. East German army was also equipped with the most modern equipment, better than any other armed forces in the Warsaw Pact. After the fall of the Berlin War, the East German army was disbanded. Many soldiers were enlisted in the West German army, but most of the officials were in early retirement. The few exceptions were a few dozen specialists, such as pilots and aircraft technicians. However, they were demoted and downgraded a few ranks. The next military power of the Warsaw Pact was Czechoslovakia. By the end of the 1980s, the Czechoslovak People's Army had more than 200,000 troops. The Western military district was more heavily concentrated. In the case of war, it was strong enough to defend against NATO attacks. Czechoslovakia had five motorized brigades and five tank brigades, with 2,700 T-55 and T-72 tanks. They were constantly modernized. For example, the T-55, shortly after it joined the Warsaw Pact, had been equipped with new fire control systems, additional protective armor, 
and improved power plants. The Czechoslovak Air Force had dozens of MiG-15, MiG-21, MiG-29 fighters, Su-25 tri aircraft, and Tu-22 supersonic bombers. After the fall of Czechoslovakia into Czech Republic and Slovakia, the military equipment was divided. After the disintegration of, of the Czechoslovakia, the Czech army consisted of just over 20,000 people, about 30 T-72 tanks, and 100 reverse, hundreds of armor vehicles, several dozen self-propelled artillery, models, and anti-tank systems. Slovakia's army was also about 20,000 soldiers. Both the Czech Republic and Slovakia, after withdrawing from the Warsaw Pact, joined NATO and tried their best to give up everything Soviet. Some of the weapons wiped out at the urgent request of Western counterparts and under close U.S. surveillance. As a result, our Czechoslovakia was almost unarmed. The Czech Air Force currently has several dozen Swedish SAF fighters and several dozen L-39 light attack aircraft for combat training. Slovakia has 10 MiG-29 fighters inherited from the Soviet Union, of which only four are capable of fighting. Finally, the Polish People's Army. This was the largest force in the Warsaw Pact after the Soviet Union. Poland had an air division and a marine division. The number of the Polish armed forces in peacetime amounted to 300,000 and in the event of war would increase to 650,000. Poland once had 3,000 tanks, hundreds of Soviet MiG and Su fighters air defense systems, missiles, and artillery. Today, the Polish army has about 130,000 soldiers and officials. The fleet of armor vehicles and aircraft was seriously out of debt. Military infrastructure was degraded and a lack of qualified manpower. Last year, Poland signed a contract to buy 32 fifth-generation F-35 fighters from the United States to replace the remaining Soviet aircraft. In addition, the Polish Navy has been receiving special attention since joining NATO. Soviet warships have been scrapped. Today, the Polish Navy is one of the oldest in Europe. As of the early 2010s, Poland had 41 warships, including 5 submarines, 2 frigates, an escort ship, and 3 small missile ships. And the newest submarine is over 40 years old. In fact, the Polish Navy does not have new ships, despite the planned modernization for 80 years. The Silesian Offshore Patrol Vessel Program put one into service in 2019, 
but it is also the only one of the seven expected to be built. My video about the military superpowers in the Warsaw Pact answer. Thank you for watching. You find this video interesting? Please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.